Hi, I'm Brenda from the Avant Garden Shop and welcome to another episode of The Garden Gate. Today we are here at the Corth Environment Centre with Rodney Fuentes and Rodney is a photographer and filmmaker and actually just made a nice little video for my store and we're going to talk about photographing the birds. Rodney, you have some tips for us, I believe. I do and uh, one of the main things that I do when I photograph birds or I take videos of birds is to uh, go close where the bird feeders are. So that's one of the techniques it is. When you have a lot of bird feeders in the garden, uh, birds get used to the feeder, they get used to people, and uh, if you naturalize your garden nicely and you have some native plants and the birds can come and eat there, they tend to stay around right. during the season. So once you start looking at the birds, you start learning where they perch, where's their favorite spots, and when they like to nest, and, and all the things, and uh, at what time of the day they like to come to the feeder. Yeah. And that once you point that out, then you get to the camera and start getting a little close and, and start composing some pictures that you can, you can get. I know when we filmed a bit of our video in, the, in our backyard, you were able to get really close to the birds, and it was just like you say, you put the camera down, you moved a little closer, a little closer, and they really did get used to you. Yeah, and and, and there's there's a, there's a there's a threshold, right? So there's a point that you don't want to invade the space of the birds too much that it feels uncomfortable, that won't be able to come to feed on the feeder. Uh, so you want to keep the, a good distance, but at the same time get close enough so you can get a picture. Yeah. And one of the things that I tell people all the time is you don't need a super close up of the picture. You don't need the eye to be super big in right. the frame. Uh, I actually prefer pictures that the birds are interacting with the environment. Right. So with that, I don't need a super telephoto lens. Right. Uh, something around 70, 300 millimeter lens do a pretty good job yeah, so you yeah. can still respect some of the space uh, between you and the birds yeah. and you can still get some pretty good frames. Yeah, and that's not a huge investment then to get uh, get a camera like this. I mean, it's a, it's enough, but it's not like thousands and thousands of dollars. So Camera equipment has come down a lot yeah. and it, it, it's it's pretty amazing when it comes to photography and taking videos now it's very accessible to get a pretty high quality equipment with less than five hundred dollars so you get a nice camera you can get a pretty nice lens yeah. with less than a thousand dollars you can be actually very wow. be very equipped to that to, that's to take awesome photographs. that's awesome rodney then yeah. i'm so glad we were able to to check this out and that you were able to make a great video for the shop thanks. and uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time on the garden gate the Garden Gate is brought to you by the Avant Garden Shop, your destination for garden accessories and backyard birding supplies. Sherbrooke Street, downtown Peterborough.